Okay, Triple M, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for those of you that have communicated with me about uh, how the things we're doing are helping. We're gonna revisit a few moves here today. But first off, let's start off with a good old Steve Maxwell favorite, get in your athletic position. Remember your athletic position is when most of the weight is on the forefoot. You've got a bend and a hinge, back is straight. Athletic position means ready to move. So we're gonna take this part of our hand here and across the kidneys. So as we swing it through here, 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 good. Get in your position. Now, if I do something and you've, you're familiar and you've been with us for a while and you know what I'm gonna do, go ahead and get started. We're not worried about rep counts here, especially in movement. The uh, exercise videos and things like that, we might have a little more concern with rep count in this, we're more concerned with breath and how you're feeling. If you get in something and get in a certain position and you need some extra work in an area, stop the video, go back, work that area, stay on it. You don't have to, with this movement, your body's gonna give you something different every day. So we're just trying to not only take our medicine, but we're opening up the medicine cabinet, <clears throat> seeing what we've got, what's in the prescription. We don't always go RX. We don't always go with what's prescribed because some days we wake up and we feel different. Shake out the hands. Sleeping, I found in my time, sleeping does more to mess you up in the position that you sleep in. So many people have issues with their backs, their shoulders, their hips because of sleeping. Maybe one day in our two minute tutorials, we'll cover that. All right, let's go ahead and find the ground. Hopefully you've got your mat set up or some soft area. So we're gonna do a little bit of the old primal move stuff. So we're gonna go high on one side. Hey, Lilikins, high on the other side. Did you decide, decide to come over and visit, huh? Hi, baby, hi, sleeper, sleeper, sleeper. All right, sit tall, sit high. Remember the extension is through the back from the hip. Hey, hey, Lily, Lily, Lily. It's just the mailman. She says, good. She doesn't care who it is. They're gonna get barked at, poor guy. All right, keep going, set high. Pay no attention to the dog behind the curtain. Oh, I know all the hair is up on the back ready to just destroy. I don't think that was the mailman, Lily. I think that was food guy. People next door have been ordering a lot of food over there. A couple more. Fully extend up. Bring that lumbar through. And then final one. Good, okay, feel all right doing that. Now we're gonna to go to a shin rock. So we're gonna come back to this. We're gonna push up and then roll up onto the shin. And if you can, sit straight. I'd like to see you take your hand off the ground once you get up there. Now, you're gonna see there's gonna be a difference in my right hip than my left. Because with the running that I'm doing, my right hip has a conversation with me often. Although my left is doing better. It's funny how I refer to my parts of my body like they're their own individual person. Well, the right hip said to me the other day, I really don't like what we're doing. And the left hip said, well, I do. All right, we're going to stop that right now. Okay, here we go. Keep rolling, rock up onto the shin. I know you did so good. I'm so proud of you protecting me. Keep rocking up onto the shin. Remember, if you're feeling something especially tight, stay. Good, let's get one more set. Good, all right, now we're gonna go back. And this time, we're going to rock up to a 
hip flexor complex extension. So we'll rock up to the shin, then we'll come up, push the hip forward. So we'll come back here, rock up to the shin, come up, push the hip forward. Didn't have my left foot far enough forward on that one. So back, step out and through, push up and forward. There we go, now I got it. So come back to the shin, come back. So we, it's all three pieces. Should take time to teach this. So we're starting with the hip and extension, then we're rolling to the shin, and then we're coming up. And adjust that front foot if you need to, because apparently I need to. Now, if you're feeling pretty good and you're starting to loose up, what you'll notice is I'll, I'll start more and more trying not to use my hands when I come back down. I still have to use my hands when I come up. If I warm up enough, I'll try to stop using my hands, okay? So I'm gonna come back down. There, good. Let's see if I could, there, got that one. Take that foot a little more forward, come up and push through. Now, let's see what Mr. Wright has to say. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! All right. Why is it so easy on the left? <clears throat> Woo! Did you hear that? That was not a gun nor popcorn. That was my knee. Realignment. Good. Let's get one more set. On two. Eat yet? On two. Back down. Across. Sweep through. Push. Back down. Across. Sweep through, push, back down. Good. All right, all right, all right. Everything's coming in threes today. I don't know if you're noticing that or not. My mic. I hope it's not, I'm sure it's going. Which is, I'm sure, pleasant for, all right, all right just leave it alone. Whatever. I'm sure Steven Spielberg will be thrilled with us. Okay, butterfly, put now, instead of leaning forward, I want you to round the lumbar and push the lumbar forward. Round the lumbar, push the lumbar forward. Good, really start getting turtle back. When I say turtle back, that means that I want you to get your back rounded like a turtle. <laughs> As if you're not intelligent enough to realize that. There we go, good, and come up and through. Good. Talk to everybody like they're kindergartners and everybody will be impressed. <clears throat> no offense to kindergartners, they're very intelligent people. <clears throat> it's so funny because in my clients I have now put the left leg out straight, bring the right foot into this thigh. I have, and now, now lean forward, come up. I have several retired teachers and it's so funny because when I try to explain something to them, they raise their eyebrow and put their hands on their hips. But then when they're talking to me, they talk to me like I'm a kindergartner. So it's kind of funny. Teachers usually don't like to be taught. Teachers like to do all the teaching. I may not be a smart man, but I know what teaching is. <sighs> Do a couple more. Getting closer. There. All right. I'm going to hang out here for a second. You can keep going. Just make sure you're exhaling. I'm just seeing what I got here. All right. Let's go to the other side. <clears throat> that knee's not in. I thought it came in, but I guess it didn't. 
All right, we'll just see what we got. Inhale, exhale. Okay, I may I'm gonna stay here. It's not gonna give me much. Breathe here a couple times. Boogers and spies. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to go flat back. We're going to work a little bit. Now this is going to be lumbar, more lumbar driven than hip driven. So we're going to do a little bit of the happy baby sirs. All right. And that was funny because the guy that came up with primal move, I don't know where, where he's from over across the great water. He's, he would say happy baby sirs. All right. Now remember, you can grab the outside of your foot. You can get your fingers around your toes. This is the way he does it with his fingers around his toes. I'm gonna grab the outside of my feet because I really wanna work on the lower back. So I'm just gonna back and forth. Try not to hold the breath. Just rocking the hips back and forth. This is not a big deal. I'm not really you might have trouble with this though some people do all right i'm gonna straighten the legs roll and rock roll and rock so i rolled up to the thoracic spine and i'm rolling down to the lumbar you might hear some popping cracking again if you're experiencing any sharp pains when we're doing any of this don't work through a sharp pain if it's a dull tension pain that's different Sharp pain is not what we're trying to work through. So we're just rocking back and forth. Don't pay attention to me. Just work through what you got. You can take your toes to the ground. Fine. If not, that's fine too. Rocking. Okay, now bring the feet flat as if you're walking on the ceiling. So I got my feet fat, flat if I'm walking on the ceiling. Lay the head down so you don't strain the neck. Then Bring the knee down. Bring. Ho, ho, ho. Oh. I brought it down too far. There. There. That right. All right, you see what I was doing there? I was trying so hard to make the move that I was eh, like that. We don't want that. Don't strain to gain. I was holding my breath and trying to force the movement. It's not what I'm looking for. If I can't breathe and make the movement, I shouldn't be making the movement if I'm having to strain like that. Keep walking back and forth or back and forth. Okay, feel all right? Bring the feet together now and Roll up. Rest there for a second, lean forward, roll back. If you can keep it going, fine. If you can't roll up, that's fine too. Just roll on your lower back. This is all about the lower back this morning. Good. Let's get two more. That wasn't very good. Did you hear that pop? That means I didn't rock. That means my my back i didn't have my core engaged so that when when it pops like that it's got to be like a rocking chair that's the hollow rock see like that there we go good okay did not wear the right shorts today goodness all right now bring the foot across we tuck that left brought the right now we're going to turn in and we're going to stay here for a second. Five deep breaths. Good. Let's switch to the other side.
Good. Okay. Now, drop. I'm going to face. Continue to face this direction. Drop the left knee down. Bring the right knee to the side. So what we're going to do, if you're feeling okay, if you're not feeling okay about this, just stay right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do some crawl arounds and then I'm going to press my hip forward. Similar to what we did earlier. If you've been functioning through all this and not had any sharp pains or anything like that, you should be, but don't progress to this. Don't force it. All right. All right. Walk around, see how my hips have come up and now I come up then slowly back down. Now I'm going to lean back. Be smooth. I'm going to walk around, point that toe a little bit more, roll through, not feeling anything exceptionally irritating in that right hip, which is a surprising for me. Happy day. Let's go through one more. And good. This should really help, Lacey. Hopefully. All right. Now, I'm going to lean back and I'm just going to push my heel. See how I'm just pushing my heel off the ground as I lean back, just trying to get some extension through here. All right, now, oh, lift that, oh, Woo -hoo -hoo. lift that foot, if you can, one more, oh, man, I'm surprised I was able to get that foot off the ground, all right, so let's just hang out here, this will give me a good chance to talk about belly breathing, everybody holds their belly in because they want to look like they got abs. That, that tends to, uh, to chest breathing. You don't want to be a chest breather, especially now with the COVID-19 virus and all the threat of uh, distress. Belly breathe. Hopefully you'll see while I'm doing this, my belly's going out, my belly's coming back in. Don't, don't try to, well, I got to hold my belly in so everybody thinks that I've got a flat belly. Forget that. Nobody's thinking about you anyway. You know, what they're, you know who they're thinking about? Their own selves. So take that. Put that in your mouth and poke it. All right, a couple breaths. Turn into it a little bit. Good. Okay. Let's see what the left side brings. All right, let's go ahead and transition. Get that right leg up nice and smooth, nice and easy. Now I've got to see if I can remember the sequence. All right. Okay, walk around. Ready? I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna roll up. Push. <laughs> it's like walk around. Good. Let's do one more. Because I didn't breathe out on that one. I held my breath. Okay. So the sequencing here. I've got my leg on the wrong side. I don't want to come out of it. So just hopefully you will remember what we did on the other side. Now I'm going to turn and I'm going to just lift that heel. Good. If everything feels all right. Oh. Now I'm going to try to lift. Oh man, this one's not coming up. One, two, three. Oh, remember what I said about my left hip being better? I lied. 
Ooh. All right. Let's sit back and just take a second. I feel like I forgot something there. Maybe it's because I can't think over the screaming of my left hip. No, I'm just, it's not bad. It's just, I'm, I'm recognizing something there. Deep breaths. Okay, so we're gonna finish with the frog. So, let's go tabletop. Start off with the feet turned up, push back and in, one, drop down and through, two, fire the glutes, three, every time you fire glutes, you're straightening and strengthening the lumbar, aligning the lumbar. People have one glute that fires hard and one glute that fires soft. That's because their vertebrae are out of alignment in their lumbar. If you can fire both glutes at the same time, pow, then that means the lumbar is aligned. At least that's what I think in all my years of training. Good. All right, so now we're going to take, we're going to drop the feet, point the toes. We're going to do five. Push back and in forward. Good. I got a little aggressive there. Don't, don't you get aggressive. There we go. I like to pop things back into place and that's not, that's something you shouldn't do when you're trying to teach other people. All right, good. Now, we're going to turn the feet out. So we're going to get a little wider in our knees. Ooh, there it went. So the left one popped in. All right, so we're going to come forward. Let's do five. We're not rolling the hips yet. Remember, we're working on the lumbar. <sighs> Don't strain, train. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to me. Did you hear me? I went eh, like that again. One more. Okay, so now we're gonna go into rotation. So I'm gonna go upper body towards my left hand, rotate the right leg through the hip. Good. Back, rotate, good. Now I'm going to try to make an effort to touch that hip to the ground as I rotate. So you're not just touching the hip to the ground, you're rotating through. There we go. Good. Wow. That's amazing, isn't it? Good. All kinds of alignments taking place. That means it's been successful. We have built the monster, and the monster lives. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to keep the feet turned out, and let's see if we can come up into our squat position. So walk back, push, lift the knees, squat, got my feet you can't see them maybe got my feet turned out so i'm going to walk forward drop the knees back down and in push the hip forward see if i've got any more room good now i'm going to turn the feet and touch the toes somebody left the boxes in the way i don't know who that would be oh it was only me in the gym all right lily did you move those boxes Okay, feet or toes are touching. Now I'm going to come back. We're not going to go into our squat. We're just going to sit onto our feet. Really feel that through the quads. Knees are apart, knees are wide. Come forward now. Now we're going to bring the feet to, or the knees together. We're going to bring the feet apart. Now we're going to sit back. 
Try to sit down in between the heels. Should feel pretty good. Now, no hands, okay? Give it a try. Rock on to the right. Bring the left forward. Push. Bring it down. Rock on to the left. Push. Bring it down. Good. Now sit back. Should be, should be pretty open. Should be loose. Feet are straight. Knees aren't in pain. Nice and tall. We good? Okay. Now. I'm going to bounce. See how I turn my feet? Turn my toes up. Now we're going to bounce on to the toes. We're going to lean back. Lean back, lean back. Are you really feeling tension through your calves? If you're really feeling tension through your calves, then you just stay here, okay? All right, okay. Felt pretty good, hopefully you're doing well. That was a good movement sequence, at least for me. Hopefully it was for you. Thanks for all your feedback. Hope you're doing well. And I've got to try to find the button, the button, the button. Who's got the button? There it is. Hi. Bye.